This video is brought to you by the color white. White, because it represents some evil white face. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler There's this video that is just so fucking stupid that it makes me cringe so much The video is titled is it okay to use black emojis in GIFs? This train wreck of a video was produced by the BBC, which stands for the Big Black Cock. British Broadcasting Corporation, Big Black Cock. Honestly, what is the difference nowadays? Joining me in this video are other black YouTubers. Hello, black YouTuber. Hey. Hello, Black YouTuber. Yo, Tyler. Hello, Miss Black YouTuber. Yo, Tyler, when you first showed me this video, I was actually kind of like, uh, there's no way that someone could actually believe that a white person using a moving image of a black person in order to properly explain and properly emphasize their feelings could possibly be blackface. But they always manage always they always manage to just prove you wrong and set humanity back a couple couple three thousand years every time every time i cry i haven't shot this or this actually uh no i haven't have you well i mean if you're asking me personally i don't even really go into that much to even use emojis or any of that stuff i'm too busy you know living an actual life Nothing like a good reaction gif, right? Since there are many, many reaction gifs out there that don't involve black people and a whole lot of memes that don't involve black people, I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to point out here. I mean, after all, if people are sharing things that are attached to black people for reaction gifs, I guarantee you those black people who are getting exposure aren't exactly complaining. But you've probably noticed the most popular ones of black people being dramatic. Yeah, yeah. and so what? This is digital blackface. Wait, wait, wait. So let me get this straight. First you claim that there are microaggressions. You act like Nazis are like Zubats in the Pokemon game when your character walks through any cave and then you ignore obvious realities. You push pseudoscience and long debunked ideas such as the wage gap and now you're pushing digital blackface on us. You're acting like people who are racist against black people are actually escapees from the matrix and so they can upload their digital copies of their own personas into the matrix where they proceed to put on some black paint on their face and perform digital blackface. Lady, you're insane. I mean, I do understand that this is the BBC, so I can't expect all that much. I mean, after all, the BBC is to logic what a shower is to a crackhead. You'll never see those two things in close proximity. At this point, you are just creating terms over and over and over again because you have to be a victim and your need to be a victim is so pronounced and so obvious that you have to say that people who just share reaction gifs are somehow being racist by using digital blackface. I don't know. I've seen a lot of white people use reaction memes with black people in it and not once have I seen that revive the ghost of Robert E. Lee. If a white person goes on Twitter and shares a reaction gif with a black person in it, do you think David Duke is going to show up and, I don't know, retweet it? I tell you what, if these so-called racists are so comic bad at being racist. I don't think I fear them anymore. Just saying. This is digital blackface. This is really what we're getting into now. Digital blackface. The idea that a white person putting a picture of a black person, a moving picture at that, called a gif or gif, however you say it, it's blackface. Do people not know what blackface is anymore? Blackface is when someone takes the image of a black person and, and tries to be a black person through makeup and pretend and tries to make a black person look like a fool. Tries to make a black person look like, uh, you know, what they call Coons and Uncle Tom. Tries to make black people, you know, look like they love slavery and love white people, you know, regardless of if people do things bad to them. That's what 
blackface is. It's not someone using a GIF to explain their feelings. This is digital blackface. This is digital projecting. This is my fucking fingers. This is retarded. Blackface is when a non-black person uses makeup to blacken up. Ugh. 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 This is proper white face. I look like a white person now. Don't I? Yeah, I guess. See, he agrees with me. So it's obviously true that I'm a white person now thanks to this makeup. Just embracing your true culture. Ugh, I got the inner black in me. You're gonna enjoy slavery, right? Slavery! Minstrel shows depicted black people in all sorts of negative ways. They were mocking demeaning stereotypes, and they exaggerated black people's facial features and their expressions. And digital blackface is the 21st century version of that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call poisoning the well. This is when someone presents the worst side of an argument or an action in order to set the bar so high or so far out of reach to the point where they try to convince you of what they're saying because you have to accept some ridiculous premise from the start. When people share animated gifs with black people in it or they share a meme I don't think that they are invoking times of the past the vast majority of the time I think that they just want a good laugh and I guarantee you those same people will use animated gifs with white people in them for starters when people use those gifs that's actual black people that are in those gifs your guys basically saying that them using real black people is the same thing as white people putting black face on or are you putting on white face exactly this kind of white face is actually you know very convincing yeah not, convincing but not only that though but there's also movies like uh tropic thunder that actually had a white guy in blackface it was actually a very good movie so depending on the context of the blackface it may be appropriate it may not be appropriate but what happened in the past was just definitely inappropriate and you know what? I find it interesting that black people complain about the stereotypes put on black people, such as being loud, such as being overemphasized, such as being, you know, violent. And it just so happens that African Americans sometimes live up to these stereotypes. If you don't want the stereotype pushed onto you, don't be the stereotype. White people using gifts to perform some kind of exaggerated blackness. It's not about exaggerated blackness, but exaggerated people. It wouldn't matter if the person is black or white or Asian or Hispanic or whatever. If a person is funny or looks funny and they are featured in a video, there is a pretty good chance that they will end up becoming an animated gif. That's just reality. I do understand that people like you don't understand humor, but for the love of fuck, can you please lighten up? Not everyone is trying triggered by everything like you. White people using gifts to perform some kind of exaggerated blackness. So let's use your exact logic here. I use, you know, white like gifts around the internet. I want to like make a joke about some dude's face or something. I guess I'm now racist, right? Because I wanted to make someone laugh. That's how it sounds to me, really. And that's not all. Let's talk about white people using dark-skinned emojis. Hmm. Oh, look at me! I'm a white emoji! Look how racist and horrible, disgusting I am! Exactly. White emojis are for white people only. Yellow Black are for Simpsons. And the purples for like, uh... Teletubbies. Know, Teletubbies are born in a dinosaur. And blues like for Smurfs, I'm guessing you can't use them without being just the most disgusting <laughs> creature in America. You're being as beasty as if you use blue! This is a form of cultural appropriation. Could have sworn that, you know, seeing how we have like, you know, all these groups in America, and that we're all Americans, that, you know, maybe it wouldn't be a stretch for us to use, you know, our cultures integrated together. You know, there is good appropriation, I guess you could call it, and bad appropriation. Now this, this is like bad appropriation using emojis and gifs. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the funny thing about it is that the emojis came directly from the Japanese. So, so the Japanese only use emojis or how does this fucking work out? All these uh, cum shots on Tyler's face. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know what? That actually appropriates Bukaki there. <laughs> See, I appropriated Japanese culture by having bukkake in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Paying little respect to someone else's culture and using it however you please. Are you being serious right now? You think a skin color is someone's culture? So let me get this straight. If I play devil's advocate right now and I accept your premise, what you are telling me is that when I use a dark skin emoji, that is my way of respecting my culture or honoring my culture or observing my culture because I'm a black man. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. How can someone culturally appropriate something that is digital? Now, last time I checked, when I looked at ancient Africa, I saw a lot of lions and hippos, spears, African tribes, but the one thing that I never found was mobile hotspots. And as I read through the history books, I never once read that Africans back in ancient Africa were complaining about the bad Wi-Fi connections. So please explain to me how anyone can engage in digital blackface and culturally appropriate somebody else's culture when they're using technology that isn't even indigenous to that culture. That makes no sense whatsoever. It's like you're just making this shit up as you go. There's a saying that imitation is the greatest flattery, so why would somebody be upset if somebody wants to imitate them? I guess it's about, you know, they want credit or something like that. That's how I remember it going. But in this case, it's just a freaking emoji or a gif. I'm not sure if I put on the same level, you know, as everything else. <laughs> and really? Digital blackface. This is why people think that black people pretend to be victims because we make up stupid victimizing S word like this because we don't, you know, we don't make real problems the real problem. So what's wrong with white people posting these gifts and using these emojis? I'm trying to figure out, you're the one who made this video. Yeah, so what is so fucking wrong? So what is so wrong with Anybody using emojis. We got like actual issues like terrorism, murder, and you want to talk about emojis and gifts? <laughs> you have people just, you know, starving. Get, starving the dove, you get people getting raving. We have to worry about emojis? That's just ridiculous. Black people are not here for other people's entertainment. But that's the thing, they get paid money to do entertainment, and so when they consent to that contract, their likeness will be out there for the public to see and use, plus not to mention these gifts are public domain. And also, celebrities, they always take pictures or have people record them doing stuff. So how are you gonna prevent people from doing that? I think the real question here is why is this even an issue in the first place? And who really cares enough that they would prevent someone from using their image in a way like that in the first place? Exactly, like, it's just for fucking comedy. This is all what it's about. Like, people, you know, using these gifts are doing that to show their own personal reaction. Not to say that they are, like, black people. Just, what the fuck? Yeah, just, just showing a freaking yes. emoji that pretends you're a white person and uh, using a GIF apparently that makes negative stereotypes. Yeah, if I post like a GIF of an Asian, that's obviously an example of me wanting you to be- rats. Yes. We're not symbols of excessive emotion. It's a freaking emoji and a GIF. How much emotion can you really show on just like maybe a three second image? <laughs> I mean, I really doubt you could like show everyone's entire existence in that fast. I mean, I think maybe if you've like, seen that whatever stupid emoji movie, they might have created something I think called the super emoji. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but apparently that one changes, I think. Maybe you should invest in that since you currently care so much about the idea of emojis expressing three-dimensional people, apparently. And we aren't here to make you look more sassy, more sexy, or more street. All right, so I have multiple issues with what you just said. Issue number one is that if people are assuming that sharing depictions of black people makes them look sexier, then how about you shut the fuck up and let them do that? Because I'm black and I would love for them to assume that sharing my picture will make them look sexier. Because in turn, that must make me sexy. Number two, you say that black people are not meant to be entertainment and 
And yet every example that you use in this video comes from an entertainer. You use Tupac, Rihanna, and people like Kevin Hart, who is a comedian who goes on stage and entertains people. So of course people are going to use those people as symbols of entertainment because that's their job as entertainers and celebrities. Point number three, don't speak for all black people because that annoys the shit out of me. I'm not you and you are not me. You do not speak for me. I can speak for myself. And finally, point number four, you are assuming the worst about people. If someone shares an animated GIF or a picture, that doesn't make them racist. That doesn't make the action nefarious or malevolent. It just means people are sharing animated GIFs because they're funny or entertaining. But I guess I do understand your position because the BBC is neither funny or entertaining. I mean, hell, you're barely news. We don't want to be seen as having two dimensional personalities. Let us decide for ourselves how we wish to be perceived. I'm pretty sure that people who are entertainers and rappers and singers and stand up comedians have already made that choice. And I'm pretty sure you don't speak for all black people. And I regret to inform you that you do not have power over how other people perceive you. After all, I'm pretty sure that you don't want me to perceive you as some whiny person who thinks everything is racist. But guess what? You have no control over that. Meaning you don't have any control over me or anyone else for that matter. Deal with it. Now I'm not saying you have to be black to post these gifts. So you're not saying that it's racist for other groups of people to use them, but if you're saying that the implications are apparently too much for people to handle, well, I personally find that to be the most uh, arrogant and disrespectful comment you could possibly say, especially regarding the subject area here, I mean, I have family members and other relatives who've actually been through racism. So if you're gonna tell them to their face that, hey, that emoji that person used is racist compared to people like throwing poop in each other's face. Yeah, I'm sure that is definitely on the same level here. But what I am saying is think about what you're doing. Spreading joy across the world. A quick chuckle. Introducing another person. To, to a different movie or a different show. I don't see what the heck's wrong with using an emoji or a GIF. Yeah, so you're just complaining over something that is just so fucking trivial. I have better things in my life. To do, like, put stuff on your face. Exactly, just put white face on my face than to worry about fucking emoji and people using black emojis. Ask yourself why you're always drawn to that GIF. Emerging. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of nonsense these people want you to do in order to have fun and have a good laugh. They want you to sit down and have some long thought out decision making process in order for you to share a meme or an animated GIF. These people are not fun or funny or entertaining and therefore they are miserable and they want you to be miserable as well. But many of you have refused to do this and that makes them upset. Therefore, that is an issue. To Ask yourself why you're always drawn to that gift or that emoji. Oh my fuck, this is just so one dimensional. There's many reasons why people just post emojis. It's kind of funny that she said that too, considering that that's a one dimensional way of thinking, but she wants three dimensional gifts. So that's my view, but what do you think? I think you're repugnant and arrogant and, and retarded and, and just ridiculous and you need to go back to school and I don't think you should be a writer actually but hey so that's my view but what do you think what do I think about it? Well, numerous things, but for now, only a few things come to mind immediately. Number one, if you are going to discuss cultural appropriation, then it would help if you didn't have straight hair. Because once again, I understand ancient African history and even current African history. And when I read those history books, I didn't hear about those Africans who had hot combs. So I'll tell white people to stop using animated GIFs and memes with black people in them when you stop visiting China. Chinese hair supply stores to get your extensions. I mean, with that many extensions, it's no wonder that you reach so much. Stop telling people what to do and how to enjoy humor. You are not the arbiter of what's funny. I mean, for fuck's sakes, you aren't even funny. Can you please culturally appropriate a personality that isn't annoying as shit? Yeah, how the fuck are people just paying you money to make this kind of shit? 
the shit emoji right there. Maybe the people who are like, you know, with Sarkeesian out there, I wouldn't be surprised if people are just paying for her to start doing this stuff. Anyway, thank you for being part of Video Block YouTuber. Thank you, Miss Black YouTuber. Before you complain about digital blackface, let's talk about police brutality. Let's talk about the 70% of black Americans who did not grow up with, you know, with a father. Let's talk about that before we start to complain about digital blackface. White people, you're free to use whatever GIF you want to. I do not care. GIF, GIF, whatever. You are free to use whatever you want. Your phone, your choice. Thank you, utter black male YouTuber. My pleasure, anytime. And to everybody else, take care. Until next time, white power emoji whatever. Bye! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.